the rear hand clasp is a really classic stretch for the muscles in the front of our shoulder, in front of our chest. There's a couple different ways we can work on this stretch depending on your flexibility level. If you've got shoulders that are on a bit of the tighter side, I suggest using something as a strap for this stretch. So you can use a resistance band, or if you've got something like a towel, that works just fine. We're gonna bring our hands behind our back. Starting with hands, maybe about hip width apart, kicking it wider is gonna make it a little bit easier. So pick a position that feels challenging. I'm gonna face my palms in towards each other, push my knuckles down towards the floor, and then try to pull my hands away from my butt without letting my elbows bend out to the side. So I'm gonna keep arms as straight as I can as I'm lifting those hands backwards in space. We wanna be feeling a stretch either through the front top of our shoulder or maybe through the pecs, the front of our chest. That's easy to do with a strap and you're comfortable interlacing your fingers. We can interlace our fingers behind our back, pull our knuckles down towards the floor, straightening those arms, pulling our shoulder blades down our back, and then trying to pull our hands away from our butt. If you're someone who has a lot of range of motion here and you'd like to go a little bit deeper, we can add a forward fold, trying to reach our hands towards the ceiling. If you've got a lot of forward folds, you can keep going, trying to reach your hands towards the floor. Or if you've got lots and lots and lots of shoulder flexibility, the extra addition you can add is smushing your palms together and keeping those palms together. So arms are a little closer together, shoulder blades are a little closer together as we pull those hands backwards, potentially finding your forward fold. But wherever you are, whatever you're doing with your arms, the part that really, really matters is our hands are coming backwards. That's what's rotating our shoulders into that stretch position. So whichever version you're working on, we're trying to keep our arms straight, reaching our hands away from our butt, and holding the stretch for somewhere between 15 to 30 seconds. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.